So here, here's a problem. I just have, have to tell you right now, whenever I meet somebody who I really like, I mean, who I really admire, I'm a complete idiot at dinner. So, I mean, complete idiot. So, in a way, I would not ever like to go to dinner with anyone. But I have to say that when Samuel Beckett died, I felt like, are you kidding? I was supposed to become your friend. How did you die without that happening? I mean, it was just an un, you know, it was an unspoken idea I'd had my whole life that I would, of course, meet Samuel Beckett, and of course he would like me, and of course we would become friends. Um, so, but of course, if I did meet him, I'd act like a complete idiot. Yeah, and, if, and I was supposed to meet Feynman, but if, luckily I didn't, because then I, I don't have that. I, you, know how, you know how people say that um, uh, pain you can't remember, but embarrassment you can. So I'm really glad I didn't meet Feynman. Imagine meeting Feynman and then, you know, having nothing but love and, <laughs> at all uh, energy scales for him. And and then being an idiot, and then remembering that your whole life. So, so yeah, so, uh, so I don't really want to meet these guys at all. But, more, but I think I'd be less embarrassed by Beckett than Feynman.